went on a date and a girl, super sweet girl, I'm sure a quality girl, but she quickly was talking about her. And I'm just saying this maybe for a lot of ladies in the chat, just keep this in mind, all right? Like when you think about the path that you're going to take, because there are a decent amount of guys in my shoes. She, This girl I was out with would quickly started talking about the career path she was on. She was going to do school for this many more years so that then she could start on this career path. And to me, that's a turnoff. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that a woman can't, and, and there are men in my camp. We're not, we, we're not saying that a woman can't work, that she can't do, you know, different things. But when you suddenly are like, oh, this woman is going to be out of the house a ton, so invested in her career, not much time for the husband, not much time for the kids, if there even is kids at all in the equation, it's just a turnoff in my opinion. Yeah. And who knows, maybe Taylor Swift is like after this, which I don't know if Eris tour is over, but after this tour is over, like I'm ready to just settle down, start having kids, be a mom and a wife. Like who knows? So he's relaying this story about this super sweet girl that is relaying her aspirations, her goals. I I presume that she's doing this on a get to know you type of thing. And as he's listening to her, all he can think about is, man, she's going to be too busy to be bearing my children and making me sandwiches. So she's talking, talking about normal things that humans talk about, goals and aspirations. And he's like, man, this girl is not going to be a benefit of me, a benefit to me. This is the reason why I know that we are on two, like we're not even in the same vicinity when we're having these conversations, because at this juncture in life, women get to have opportunities, education, aspirations, and we talk about it. And it's a, you know, this is a normal thing about adulthood, especially in this economy, life, having some goals is cool. Everybody is not just trying to be barefoot, pregnant, making sandwiches, and then dropping it like it's hot exactly when we're supposed to. That's not for everybody. And if this man doesn't want that, he could have sussed that out initially to where this woman talking about goals and aspirations was not like, what? I mean, he could have figured that out over the phone. I mean, I don't know when he has sussed it out, but I showed that video because I wanted y'all to know that this is across the board, these XYs, do not like driven women. And it's perfectly fine for them to like what they like. Perfectly fine. But many women actually do have some goals and aspirations outside of being a wife and mother. Now, keep in mind, yes, I am a wife and mother, but I have um, I have things about my life that is not just about being a wife and mother. It's all a part of what makes you a whole person a whole and human person. These people steadily making these memes because they want to bring women back into the fold of the 1950s when women simply didn't actually have um, rights and freedoms. They had to be in a particular box for survival. So this meme, someone needs to tell modern women that being loud, aggressive, and rebellious does not make you attractive. Men still want soft and obedient girls, malleable girls. And when they talk about aggressive and rebellious, many times that is simply being assertive, speaking your opinion, having an opinion. Um, it, like they hear certain things. They hear an opinion coming from the mouth of a human woman. And they're like, oh, my God. What is this? What is this going on? So there is literally nothing that you can say as far as an opinion that is going to um, filter correctly to people who are not used to hearing opinions from women. Regardless, you can be talking normal. You could be whispering. You could write it down. That'll make you aggressive regardless. But just know that many women are seeing these types of videos, seeing these types of memes, And we're not going for it. And that's across the board. I follow women on various platforms and various forms. Like I read books from women. 
I am watching videos. I see the tweets. I see the posts. And women are saying the same things across the board. So like this person says, every time Taylor Swift does one big thing, everyone assumes that this will be the last big thing she will do. And then Taylor does a thing which is way bigger than her last. And I'm here for it. And I'm using this particular thing because Taylor Swift is an economy and her simply doing things is showing other women that they can simply do things as well. Will they be on the level of Taylor Swift? No. Will they be a Beyonce level? No. But what some of these dudes do, they they try to take down Taylor Swift in an attempt to take down other women that are aspirational women. That is what they do. That is the reason why they take celebrities or uh, people that are in the public and then they try to take them down two to three notches because they think that that will take other women down two to three notches. Because how dare you have an opinion, have aspirations, goals that are bigger than being in the home, making sandwiches and dropping it like it hot, it's hot on, on demand. And this is the last one that I wanted to highlight. And like I said, these the women across the board, up and down, are saying very, very similar things. We're saying that, yes, being a wife and mom is perfectly fine, it's good, but we want to do other things in balance. Because in times past, there hasn't really been balance. There hasn't been room and opportunity for women to have choices. And we have choices now. Choices are good. We all should have choices. Lee Lee says, I, I'm just so tired, tired of this mentality, these fragile, um, these fragile A men and these pick me women. Can y'all just go do your caveman baby maker only lifestyle on some island, someplace and leave people who prioritize career or even balance career and family alone? Because it's possible. It like these people that I showed in this video. It is possible that they are perfectly happy with their situation, be that. But there are other people who have different things that they aspire to, and that is perfectly fine too. So when you are doing the initial meet and greet, before you even decide to go on dates or anything, you see, is this person even compatible, even remotely compatible? Because what they simply try to do is take a circle and try to carve it out into a square to fit it into their mold versus just finding the person that you that is made for you who wants to live the lifestyle as you and then taking it from there trying to mold somebody to be who you want them to be has to get tiresome and it's tiresome for the person that is attempting to fit in the box to be there for you anyways you guys let me know what you think about this jump in the comments like comment share